Um, yeah, the one second increment is very deceiving. Like it's hard to gain time, and then when you're below five seconds, even simple positions can be difficult. Okay, so I'm I have a streak. I have three wins in a row, and I'm playing Carlson. Okay, focus. Let's pretend I'm not playing Carlson. Let's just play normal moves and control the center and develop my pieces. Um, good thing he's thinking. Dutch. I think I'll just play a London system. I have to stick with what I know. My g6 I forgot about. Let's play bishop. Oh, bishop f4 is not a good move. Um, bishop g5. Can I justify it in any way? I think I'll play this. Oops. Don't want to mouse slip pretty move anything. <laughs> um, so I gave away the bishop pair. But I have an e-file. I have my knights developed. I'm slightly ahead in development. Could go crazy. Like a4. Let's go crazy. Because Carlson likes boring, dry, slightly better endgames. I want to make this spicy. Maybe 95. And we could trade bishops. This knight's tied down to defending the pawn. So I might consider moves like knight h5. Do I accept triple pawns? Probably not. Let's move the knight back to where it came from. And maybe queen here. Just controlling the center. I could castle kingside soon. I probably will castle kingside and try and like blow open the queen side. Queen d6. I don't see the threat. Oh, maybe he just wants a castle too. Yep. Play c3. Trying to be solid. I like the pair of knights. It's slightly closed position. Play rook e1. Probably just put the rooks in the center. b5, interesting move. Let's take and play rook e2. Yeah, the b-file. Maybe I should put my knight back on d3. I have queen, or knight c4. Knight c4. Hmm. Start with this. No. Okay, it's slightly passive, but my knight on d3 makes me feel safe. Another knight should maneuver probably to f3. Like knight f1, knight d2. Could always throw in g3. Probably not necessary. Wow, g5. What a move. Um, so there could be some potential attack, which means I might actually sack a pawn here. Takes. So the bishop opening up could be a problem. Yeah, I'm going to sack a pawn and probably just get a knight to e5. But which knight? Maybe this knight. King h1. Let's play rook b1 over defend the pawn. Want to take on f4 at some point. Let's 
rook g8, I have rook g1. It's looking a little bit scary, this move. So you're gonna play knight g3. I think I survived there. Okay, the one second increment. Time scramble time. To just play fast and pray. Attack the A pawn. Win the A pawn. Don't mate me. Attack the D pawn. Trade rooks. Attacking the E pawn. So nervous. Let's take this. Up a pawn, maybe kind of. Don't back rank mate me. Check. I want a fork. What was that move? Stock one H5. King G1. This is so scary. I'm up a knight. Queen F6. Queen F1, I take it. Good try. Good try. Queen F1, very sneaky. I did it. Okay. Back to turn it. That was chess 960, but that's still a win. Okay, man. <sighs> to calm down, I still have tea. That was really nerve wracking. Oh, I'm, I started another game. Okay, that's going on YouTube though, definitely.